Did you know that extreme heat can actually slow down your commute? Here's why. Anytime you have a series of days where temperatures are over 30 degrees Celsius, uh, you can have a situation where the rails, which are made of steel, can expand. And what that ends up creating is a chance for something called a sun kink. And basically what that is, is the metal when it expands can bend. If your GO train or subway slows down this summer, it might be due to a slow order. When trains and subways reduce speed to stay safe in extreme heat. I mean, this is something that we've been grappling with as long as we've been running a system. On the uh, on the open cut areas of the subway system where they're above ground, uh, that's where they're most prone to the heat. So that's where we would slow the subways down. As a precaution, conductors are advised to travel 10 to 15 kilometers slower. To manage risk, Metrolinx and the TTC in Toronto, Ontario conduct heat patrols to monitor how tracks respond to high temperatures and identify specific sections where trains and subways may need to slow down or even be cancelled until things cool down. And what that does is it helps sort of prevent any impacts to the rail while it's hot and then also ensures that we can keep everybody safe during heat waves. Air conditioning helps keep riders comfortable, but upgrading rail materials to withstand the heat, that's not happening anytime soon. The cost is high and dangerously consecutive hot days are still rare. So for now, slow and steady wins.